Hello, my name is Karx82 and welcome back to my Greg Tech New Horizon series. I have just been smelting up a bunch of neutronium. And uh, as we can see, I have blown through about uh, 700 billion <laughs> EU per tick. And that is with eight. Um, that's with eight of these turbines running. So, uh, yeah, definitely uh, stressing our power grid to the uh, the max here. Uh, we're even slightly dropping in helium plasma. So this is actually not keeping up with... I think we're using 16, 16 liters per tick or something like that. Or whatever, however you want to call it, 16 millibuckets per tick. Um, so it's not quite able to keep up with that. Um, so I've been kind of umming and eyeing about what I want to do here. And one of the things that I want to kind of get, I'm thinking sooner than later, because just because some of these recipes are requiring such high power, I need to be able to at least be running these um, at full speed and producing a, a net gain here, which we are not at. I mean, it's kind of like right on the cusp. As we can see, I mean, it's kind of like right there, but it's just very slightly dropping. So, I mean, as you can see, we're right around 300, but it'll start going down to right around 200, etc. So, uh, I think um before unfortunately before we kind of get into the rocket i think just because it is so expensive with the neutronium that we're going to need um because once we finish all that neutronium what did i i put in what i think i at the end of the last episode i put in four stacks so at the end of this i don't even know if we're actually going to be able to finish this um Ah, that's right, because I just realized I only put, yeah, I only put the small hatches, and they don't have acceleration upgrades in there, so it's going to burn through 12 or 16 buckets, like, super quick. It'll stop, it'll see it has raw neutronium in there, and then it turns that on. That's why that's not uh, doing that. So it'd probably be easier just to throw that in here. Um, But... Yeah, I don't know. I think we should be good. I just don't want to, like, void stuff. Hmm. We're getting close there. I'll keep an eye on that. But, uh... Um, yeah, so what I was saying is, I think maybe we should look into upgrading to the Tier 3 reactor. And uh, I went ahead and got the data stick. I uh, scanned. It's just a block of americium, I think it was. Uh, pretty easy. I'm pretty happy that to find these recipes, you don't have to scan like a whole computer. Like you don't have to scan like a Mark II computer to get the Mark III. That would be not fun at all, having to craft that whole thing up to just scan it right away. But let's take a look at kind of what we're looking at here with the uh, Mark III reactor. Um, all right. It's actually not. All right. So we don't have that yet. I don't think we have blue. Lots of superconducting wires, which, again, just kind of comes down to neutronium. All right. So we're going to have to get these what we're... Circuits. We haven't actually crafted them up, but we can craft them. We have the recipe. Um, so, I mean, everything is fine. Um, I do need to do the new fuel generators, which that is going to be expensive. Yeah. So, ugh. all right. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to wait for that to finish, I think. And then build up our buffer a little bit here. And I don't know if we're going to have enough to last another 10 minutes, to be honest. 
Eh. It's just slowly going down. Eh, I don't know. We'll see. But, uh... Yeah, so we're going to need to craft up that. And what is this QPIC thing? I didn't even know this was actually... I didn't even realize that was a thing. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's actually really easy. All right, so that's not bad at all. I was thinking it was going to be the... That's whatever they're called. Pico, is it Pico? Yeah, I thought it was going to be these and then add something else. But that is actually... Surprisingly easy. Except I'm going to have to upgrade the precision laser graver. It is not. I can just throw another hatch on there, but that's not a problem. But uh, Maricium doped? Yeah. Not a, not a problem at all. I mean, it's just a ton of silicon and just some americium. I mean, that is. That's like nothing. All right. So. That is actually not. Well. I shouldn't say nothing, because these circuits are going to take some time. That's a lot of wetware circuits. Molten flux electrum, soldering now. That's a bit annoying. We have to add another fluid. But overall, that is actually not that bad. So uh, the other thing we're going to need is the casing. Uh, let's just do fusion. So we're going to need these casings, which is just a maricium. Nequata alloy. Yeah, that's not a problem at all either. Um, what will be annoying though is all the energy hatches. Um, so the question is, do I go ahead and do the energy hatches? All right. So this is uh, we're definitely kind of hitting a bit of a wall here. That's for sure. Um. Kind of curious, so like the helium plasma. The reason I'm kind of looking at the tier three is for the overclocking um, because it'll overclock the reactor. So this is 0.8 seconds. The next one is 0.4 seconds. And then the next one will be 0.2 seconds. I think that's how it works. It uses double the power and it's half as fast or twice as fast and twice as much power. Um, so that's kind of why I want to get that. So I'm kind of, we might not actually need, and now that I'm kind of thinking, we might not actually need, all right. Yeah. I'm kind of like convincing myself as we're talking about this. Um, we probably not going to need 16 energy hatches right away. Yeah, because really, I th the energy hatches, I think, are basically how fast this fills up, obviously, um, and how big that buffer is. And what that determines is the recipe. So, like, um, if we look at neutronium, I think it's molten neutronium. Yeah, if we look at molten neutronium... You can do that in a reactor and we'd have to get up to 600 million EU. So obviously I can't do that with only like a few energy hatches. And I think there was a fusion page, right? Yeah. Oh. I actually have all this stuff. I could just complete this really quick. Um, I think the... I don't remember where I... So, but I think the hatches do 40 million. Is it on? Maybe it's on the uh, the thing. 40 million. Yeah, here we go. So 40 million EU cap per energy hatch. So we would need, yeah. If you wanted to do the neutronium recipe, which I don't think we're going to do. Um, but the helium plasma recipe is so small. 
We would only need two energy hatches to run this recipe. I think. I don't think it, like, boosts it up. Like, if we do a... Actually, why don't we... Let's test that really quick. So we have a tier 2 recipe. Let's see if it pulls out 60 million or does it pull out um, 120. So let's just turn that off. Did I... I don't think I hit that. I think I hit... Uh, there we go. All right, so that should turn that off. There it goes. All right, so let's see if it pulls out 60 or does it pull out 120. No, it only pulls out 60. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to do two energy hatches just to start out with. Yeah. And then, okay, and then the casings are easy enough. Um, the hatches. Uh, let me... Input hatch. What do we have to do for the? We'll have to do the UV in, input hatches. So, ah, super tank. That's actually easier than the, the things we've been doing. The uh, BC tanks. All right. So UV machine hall. A lot of that stuff, but I have millions of it, and it's on. All right. So this is actually n looking not that bad at all the only thing that's going to be a bit complicated is the fusion controller all right so let me uh figure out where are we how we want to kind of get going here with this and uh i may wait a little bit to build up a buffer Oof, we're getting really low here i feel like it's it was hovering at like 100 billion for a while and then all of a sudden now it's dropped down to 80. yeah we're on the last little bit here Come on, you guys can do it. All right, so let me cut here and we will come back. All right, we are back and uh, I'm just crafting up a whole bunch of the uh, super tanks because I think um, this is going to be my final tier of fusion reactor, I believe. I don't think I'm going to go for the next tier up because there doesn't there's really no point at this the the only recipes that need the tier 4 uh fusion reactor have no uses or anything um and this is just insanely expensive um like they need one of these things and like that's nine of those like yeah i don't think so um i mean we can't rule it out maybe but uh the only thing the the only thing that would do would be like overclocking the uh reactor and you need like a whole bunch of these which are scanning recipes and it's just i don't know that just seems like gonna take a long long time uh to craft that but uh so what i was thinking is we'll do the i'm just gonna go ahead and do the 16 input hatches and the 16 output hatches so i'm gonna do the full amount of input and output hatches and then uh eventually we'll have the the 16 energy hatches although i'm not sure it depends on what i end up using the reactor for if i need it um we'll do that but if i don't end up doing like the main reason it would be for neutronium and i don't think i'm going to do molten neutronium because it just doesn't seem like it's worth it at this point um because it's four liters every three seconds and uh yeah it's just slower than just throwing it in the blast furnaces over there so uh, i'm not sure what i'm gonna do about that yet but uh so at least 32 fluid in, in input hatches and then we'll do the two i think yeah maybe four maybe i should do four i don't know the really the only thing that has less input hatches is the the recipe that you can do and how fast this fills up so the less energy hatches is gonna take a much longer but Unless you're turning it on and off, like that isn't that big of a, a deal. So uh, yeah, we're just getting a whole bunch of those and they're actually really easy to make. They're just a bunch of like low, uh, low end stuff. And I don't know what this keeps happening and I'm not 
sure what is doing it. Somehow we end up with four in there. And like, it doesn't do the recipe. Like, and I never notice what I, I guess it's, it's probably, yeah, it's putting the copper foils in for the cir actual circuit boards and then these. So it's using, one of the recipes using it from both is, I'm not sure which one is doing that. But uh, sometimes that gets screwed up. I should just, to fix that, I should have, I should have them both on the same thing, but oh well, I'm not going to worry about it right now. I can just flip it over when it uh, has issues. Um, all right, so there's the 32 tanks. Now we need the 32 of these, which that, I mean, it's easy enough, but that is, uh, oh, I just noticed that. So we're gonna have to do it in the multi-block or no. Yeah, we'll just do it in the multi-block. So I need 32 of these UV machine hulls. Which isn't, shouldn't be a problem. No, um, I think I'll let, yeah. And I love like coming over here and having <laughs> eight blast furnaces running. That's so fun. Yeah, look at it, just tearing through that. All right, so that takes care of that. Then I need the, um, I guess the energy hatches. I have one. I really don't remember crafting that, to be honest. I keep, <laughs> for some reason I seem to end up with energy hatches and I don't remember crafting them. But uh, apparently I have them. Um, problem is sometimes I uh, record an episode like um, in two separate days. So sometimes I forget what I've done uh, mid episode um, because uh, I was recording yesterday for the beginning part of this episode. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so now we just need the other thing, which we need the Mercium, uh, doped. Yeah. So we need four. Ooh, I might be low on, um, silicon actually, now that I'm thinking about it. Uh, Not the end of the world, but, uh, yeah, that's a bit annoying. I did just get a bunch of kyanites from when I was doing, and this has, oh, maybe this doesn't have a lot of silicon on it. I thought this had, hmm, it does have some silicon. Not a lot, though. I don't particularly want to go, I... I just drop it on a tungsten vein and that has silicon in it, silicon ore. So that's probably the easiest way to, uh, yeah. So that has the silicon ore in it, although it is on Proteus. I don't know. I'll have to think about that, but, uh, all right. So let me continue just doing this and, uh, getting the parts ready here yeah the uh that's waiting for the waiting for this one a whole lot of stuff in there all right uh yeah let me come back and uh we will continue and we are back and i've gone ahead and replaced one of the energy hatches in the um uh, the, whatever it's called, the processing array or not that processing array, the multi-use thing, but the processing factory, that's what I meant, um, to give it the, the thing so I could do the, um, oh my goodness, what am I trying to say here? Yeah. So I need, uh, UV 
And uh, I don't know if it's going to work on this, but uh, it worked on the assembler, so I'm hoping it works on here. Uh, so, let's see, blue topaz, I'm assuming like sapphire. Yeah, there is. There it is. Let's see if it works. Is it going to work? All right, so it doesn't look like this one is going to work. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's. says it's the right tier, right? Is this not counting? Needs a clean room. Um, all right. So, bit of an issue here. Um, let me I guess before I Oh my goodness, I don't want to do a precision. I'm not going to craft up a whole new precision laser engraver. For one thing. Uh, one that should work on this. Because the other things do need a... I mean, the other circuit parts all need a clean room and it works in there. So, uh... Um, let me, I think what I'm going to do is try with the UV energy hatch and see if that works. Oh, that's all UV. Um, and then let me actually, let me, let's throw a wafer in. I don't know. Let's, uh. I don't want to just make stuff I'll never use, but. Yeah, let's throw it in there. See if it works. Does it work? See, okay, so that does work. With the two hatches. All right, so I think it's just this recipe may be bugged, I think. And like I said, I'm not going to craft up a whole new thing for a bugged recipe. Where is it? I can even find it. Man, these, it's probably got a different name. Does it even exist? All right, so I'm not even seeing the UV. Is that even a um, all right, so this is a little interesting. I can't find the precision laser engraver. Fraction splitter. Does it not even exist? This is, yeah, this is a bit weird. All right, let me uh, figure this out and we will come back. All right, so this is the last attempt here to so see if I can get this to work. And uh, I put a UV energy hatch there. We'll transform it up. And I did do a little backup right before I did this, so. Yeah, so that will be the four amps in and we will see if this works. And if not, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do because, uh, yeah. All right. Probably need to, apparently that didn't, I had that broken for a while and it never checked the multi-block, but, uh, all right, let's try this again. So Sapphire lens, let's just double check. This is the right thing here. So oh, Sapphire Lens, Americium Doped Wafer, needs clean room, it is UV power, and it should work. All right. 
So it looks like the nine and one does not allow for the two energy hatches that does not work on this machine. So this is my issue with this mod is that it is very inconsistent. The alloy blast melter doesn't work at all. It won't even form with two hatches. The assembler multi-block, you can put two hatches, that works fine. And the nine and one, you can Put the two hatches, it'll form, but it'll only run at the lower. It'll only do recipes that are underneath the whatever uh, tier it is. So, uh, yeah. Um, question is, do I want to just leave that there? Yeah, I don't know. I need uh, 64 of those, right? Yeah, so let's just do... So I don't want to craft up a new, um, well, am I going to need these anymore? Possibly, but we're talking like super late game here. I mean, UIV to UV, yeah, I'm nowhere near that. So I think I'm just going to put the, maybe I'll put the two ZPM energy hatches back on it, um, since I don't need those. But let's go ahead and get the... I guess 60, well, I'll just do a, I'll make the recipe now. And uh, how about we do that? Because I have plenty of room in the, yeah, plenty of room in the things. So uh, let's, go ahead and craft up 63 of those. That's gonna take a while. All right, so there it goes. Yep, 34 seconds each, so about 30, 30 minutes. That's going to take, yeah, that is going to take a while. Um, but I did, I upgraded the cabling to hold 16 amps of, so the 8 amps of ZPM are going along here. Um, man, I should just like, now that I'm looking at it, maybe I should just throw... I don't, I don't need UV power on that. Like those recipes are so quick in general. That's usually not like the backup. Um, and I want energy hatches or neutronium that I don't have a ton of right now. Um, all right, so we got that going. Throw that away. Let me just clear out some of my inventory here. So we got the two energy hatches. Yeah, I'll put those back on there, I think. The UV machine holes. Okay, we got plenty of those. So we got, I need 16 and 16. Now the question is, where do I do this? Do I just do this in the, um, I'll probably just do it in the one in the power room. I, that UV, I really need to like get that moved over here, but uh, I don't have this building set up for UV power. So, um, what is that? That's nine, right? Is that nine or eight? I can never remember if that is nine ingots or eight ingots. I think that's it's nine, isn't it? No, it's eight. What's nine? Oh, nine is 1296. So we need 32 times eight, 256. So four stacks, which um, luckily I have a whole ton here. And that'll just uh, fill that up. Yeah, so I'm just gonna go, yeah, we'll do this and then I'll go put it in the uh, that one over there. So let me uh, get these made and we will come back. All right, and we are back. And for the record, there is a UV. It's called the Ultimate Exact Photon Cannon. Um, but usually the the little thing underneath it the is the same for each tier. So like separating ores more precisely, if we do, if I could spell. 
as you can see, it lists every single one because it has the exact same thing. And most of them are like that, but the precision laser engraver changes, as you can see. So that is why it's like, it was so hard to find. Anyway, uh, just thought I'd point that out in case you were wondering if there is one for the UV tier. Um, but I went ahead and we got the input hatches and the output hatches. It was relatively painless. And uh, yeah, right now I'm crafting up a superconducting coil so I can make the, I'm crafting up this as well, um, for the fusion coil block that we are gonna need for the thing. So I'm doing the superconducting coil. Uh, I debated whether or not to do the cheaper rest, I mean, less materials, but more expensive kind of thing. Um, but I just went ahead and did the that one um, because at this point, Osmeridium is not um, not difficult at all um, to make. So uh, yeah, um, we got the QPIC, all that done. That is good. What else are we looking at with this thing? So we got that. Uh, Densimericium. Got that. Right. All right. So we're going to need to craft up the wetware mainframes. Um, we haven't done that yet. Um, I need to do the field generator, the new one, which ooh, these recipes are really expensive. Right, so I need to scan that. I don't even have it scanned yet. So we're gonna have to craft up one of these to scan it. Which, uh, these are, uh, these are no joke, these recipes. That is for sure. Um, emerald, I need to just go drop an emerald. Um, I need to go drop like a miner on an emerald thing. I think you get thorium from it too, so that's not not a bad thing. Speaking of thorium, yeah, I got seven thousand. Is not too bad. I should have made this a. I don't know why I made it just LV. I think it was just at the time it was much cheaper. All right, but uh, yeah, this will get the emeralds and then, uh, yeah, we will, I guess we'll have to come back next episode just because uh, I don't think I'll get this finished today. So uh, yeah, so we'll, I'll get this crafted up. And I'll craft up these superconducting wires, and we'll get all the stuff ready for these wetware uh, mainframes. Those are the, yeah, that's the assembly recipe. I'm trying to remember how difficult these assembly recipes are. And I organize these a little bit. Trying to remember, I don't. Is this 11 neutronium? Is that what it was? No, but we do need the wetware circuits. These I know are not going to be, these won't be for dictionary. All right, so I'll get some of this stuff crafted up too. Um, so a lot of crafting we're gonna have to do, uh, in between episodes. How did I get tiny piles of tritanium? no idea how I got that. All right, uh, but that's about it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.